So in this video I am going to cover best gaming laptops under $750 which will allow you to play modern games. However few compromises have to make it this budget specially display, where you do not get accurate colors, but for gaming you need fast refresh rate which is fortunately available at $750. So first gaming laptop we have Asus TUF F15 currently available at $730, but most of the time price drops below $600 to $700 makes it a good deal for 1080p level editing, gaming, and music production work, as it has 11th generation Intel Core i5-11400H processor with 6 cores and 12 threads, which is still a good processor runs applications smoothly, whereas RTX 2050, 4GB GPU with 70 watts TGP runs demanding games like Hogwarts Legacy at medium settings at 50fps without using DLSS, whereas Warzone 3 can play at low preset with 55-65fps. to 65 FPS. Other heavy game like God of War at original settings provides 45fps which is playable and processor heavy game GTA 5 at very high settings can go above 90fps, rest benchmarks on your screen, and the thermal system is improved yet suggest you to use cooling pad for long gaming sessions. However, the 48 wear battery is pretty average last for 2 hours. Overall I really like the look of the laptop gives a complete gaming vibe and the build quality is excellent, whereas you also get single zone RGB keyboard with a customizable feature. Lastly, just make sure to upgrade the RAM up to 16GB for better performance and 512GB Gen 3 SSD is also upgradable. With all necessary ports, it has Thunderbolt support, which is very rare in budget gaming laptops. Only consider this below $650 as we have better options. The display has 144Hz refresh rate and brightness is 250 nits, which is dim in 2024. However, if you need better display brightness with RTX 3050 GPU, then consider this Lenovo Lock gaming laptop as even though it has standard 45% NTSC display, yet 300 nits peak brightness provides better viewing experience compared to 250 nits, whereas 144Hz refresh rate is ideal for esports games, and the 13th generation Intel i5-13420H processor has 8 cores and 12 threads which is better than Intel i5-11400H CPU. This CPU is also suitable for 4K video editing, 8GB DDR5 RAM also upgradable up to 32GB and 1TB SSD is enough for saving heavy files and data. For gaming this RTX 3050, 6GB GPU performs better than RTX 2050 and RTX 3054GB graphics card. Additionally, you can use ray tracing properly with RTX 3050 GPU. For gaming benchmarks this GPU can run Hogwarts Legacy at high settings and DLSS at quality with around 60fps. Assassin's Creed Valhalla at high settings ensures impressive 60fps, whereas God of War at ultra settings provides playable 46fps, Warzone 3 runs at extreme settings above 55fps, RDR2 runs playable 45fps at ultra preset, and the cooling system is also better in Lenovo Lock gaming laptop compared to Asus Tough gaming laptop. With all necessary ports, laptop has mixed look of gaming and professional as it also has single backlit keyboard and 60 wear battery can deliver about 3 to 4 hours backup on normal use. Currently available at $780, but with offers it can reduce below $750, go for it link in the description. Next, if you need lightweight gaming laptop with RTX 4050 graphics card on budget, then you can consider this MSI GF63 thin gaming laptop, as even though this RTX 4050 GPU has 45 watts TGP, Yet laptop can run modern games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla above 50 FPS at ultra high settings. Whereas Hogwarts Legacy at high preset provides around 52 FPS with DLSS at quality, Red Dead Redemption 2 at ultra settings also goes beyond 50 frames per second, and God of War is also playable at ultra settings with 48 FPS and Far Cry 6 at ultra reaches above 60 FPS rest benchmarks on your screen, whereas 12th generation Intel Core i5-12450H processor with 8 cores and 12 threads runs 1080p editing smoothly and basic 4K editing is possible with this laptop. Thermals of the laptops handle the modern games efficiently. However, RTX 4050 also has DLSS 3 support, makes it better choice than RTX 3050. Overall 16GB RAM and 1TB SSD makes it a good deal. As you also have upgrade features, on display front 15.6-inch Full HD screen delivers a 144Hz refresh rate, 
45% NTSC and 250 nits brightness. The battery can last for two to three hours. With all the necessary ports, the build quality of the laptop is decent and single red backlit keyboard is adjustable. Overall, very impressive laptop, but only consider if you need thin and lightweight gaming laptop, go for it link in the description. At first position, we have Acer Nitro V Gaming Laptop features NVIDIA RTX 4050 GPU with 75 watts TGP, which can give better performance than 45 watts TGP graphics card, and the weight of the laptop is reasonably light compared to other gaming devices. This laptop, also designed with powerful processor 13th generation Intel i5-13420H, 8GB DDR5 RAM, upgradable up to 32GB and 512GB SSD is also upgradable. However, display is average as 15.6-inch screen has peak brightness of 250 nits, 144Hz refresh rate, and 45% NTSC acceptable in a budget gaming laptop. For gaming benchmarks, God of War at Ultra settings runs at 52 FPS at Ultra preset. Red Dead Redemption 2 can go above 55 to 60 FPS at Ultra preset. Assassin's Creed Valhalla at Ultra high settings runs above 65 FPS and heavy games like Alan Wake 2 provides playable 40 FPS at low settings. Rest gaming benchmarks on your screen. However, I also suggest you to upgrade the RAM to 16 GB for better performance and the thermals of the laptop is well optimized. Overall, this is highly recommended gaming laptop currently. If you have budget of around $750, go for it link in the description. So this is it for this video. What do you think? Let us know in the comment box. Our pick is Acer Nitro V for RTX 4050, as you also get DLSS 3 frame generation support. Lenovo Lock is also a good option with RTX 3050, 6GB graphics card. Thanks for watching and see you in next one.